Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So people have often asked me if they can pour over tape or a stencil. Now I'm going to say no on the stencil because unless it's like a sticker stencil, the paint's just going to go right underneath it. But I think the masking tape should work just fine. I'm sure there are some of you that have already done it, but I actually haven't. And for those of you who haven't, this will be a fun little experiment. So I'm just, this is gonna be pretty abstract. Just taping off some parts here. Um, they have like a specific plan for a design, but I know that this kind of, you can always kind of do those fun birch tree paintings with the masking tape. So who knows, either we might do something like that or we'll just leave it abstract. All right, I think we'll just leave it with four pieces like that. Okay, let's go ahead and fill up. This is a lowly buffet bowl, and this is just a nine by 12 canvas, so don't need too much paint. And I am using my favorite color combo, which I've been using probably too much lately, but just uh, blue, especially this is like a teal blue with gold. I think is amazing and I'm about out of that gold which makes me really sad <laughs> okay and I'm gonna do a little bit of black not much okay just gonna layer these in here time to mix up some new paints apparently all right that should be plenty let me go ahead and go in with just a little more gold, just at the bottom of the bottle here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tree ring this and just pretend like that tape is not even there. Now I'm not expecting to have no cells because this particular gold, which is the DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, is pretty known to produce cells. So this should come out pretty fun. Go ahead and tilt as usual. And then I will, I think I'll come back when the paint is not completely dry, but at least almost dry and take the tape off. And either way, this will kind of just be a way to add some variety to your, to your paintings. <clears throat> now, what I generally recommend, though, if you know you have a, a spot that you might want to have some negative space, is to just do your pour as normal and then just paint that black later or whatever color you want, black, white, whatever, later. That would be my recommendation for probably what would work the best, but I think... I feel like this should work. You can't even see the tape really. This looks pretty darn cool. I do expect, like I said, some cell development with the gold. But let's go ahead, we'll let this dry, or at least mostly dry. Let's do a quick close up. So just so I don't forget, this looks awesome already. I hope you can see why this is my favorite color combo. You can kind of see some cells developing already in there. So there we have it. So we'll come back when it's time to take the tape off. Okay guys, we're back. The paint is, I think, pretty much, much dry. Um, so the tape you can see is a little wrinkled up here. So I'm kind of curious. The question was basically whether it would go under the tape or not. And the answer is yes. However, I still think this actually will work pretty perfectly for the birch tree idea. <laughs> um, but this is pretty much what I thought would happen. Um, yeah, maybe using a different tape, but this is just masking tape. And obviously you don't want to use a tape that's too sticky and will um, harm your canvas. So anyways, 
This is still a really cool painting. Let's see, where's the bottom of this one? But like I was uh, saying, I think at the beginning of the video, if you wanted this to be, say, a solid white, I would just do your pour and then come back in and mask this off and just paint that white. I think that would be the most effective to actually get a negative space. Now, if any of you have done this with tape and it worked out perfectly, definitely let us know what kind of tape you used. But this is just my results with just regular old masking tape. So there you have it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this exactly. <laughs> if I'm going to just paint these in white or whatever or make some, I'm sure I'll make it into something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully it was informative and helped answer your question on if you could tape a section off. I will see y'all next time.